月光を切り裂く闇力解放する Hey, 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 what's going on, guys? My name is Sega, and welcome back to another episode of Lord of Heroes. Today, we're gonna have a double analysis of Dar Mikal and Er Mikal. We're gonna start with our favorite sniper, <laughs> one of the first sniper we get in the game. Dar Mikal is the first sniper that you receive for free in the game. The first of the dark element and the first that you replace with Earl Olivia later on. Although it's not that he's back on his skills, the bad thing is that they are better ones snipers. But in the end, a uh, dark element will always be needed. Unfortunately, I will not recommend it. Sign the snipers are not in the game to do damage, but to get energy and in the process help the team in an indirect way. Let's check his stats. The best stats to focus on is speed because his damage depends on it. About his skills, all of his skills are really good. His first skill is just damage, second skill damage and increase of his speed and his ultimate is just damage. That's why he it's a sniper bow, it's like a, a barrel sniper, maybe we can we can say that. Let's check his set, try to use six pieces of the set overcharge, the surge one. Two pieces with percent of lie and two pieces with percent of attack if you want to do some damage bow. It's better to use defense because he's He's gonna be on the battlefield to build up energy for the team. Rings and necklace use a speed. Optional set. Maybe the precision set works wonders on him. And defense set because he needs to, to stay alive longer on the battlefield. About PvP. Honestly, he has very little use. Even with a lot of damage, it does not make a difference by only having single target skills. I will not recommend him as there are many better options in this section that can help much more. Not even the dark element cut him in this time. Now let's check her recall, which is a striker, one of the best ones. Uh, in my opinion. Ermical is the third special hero that we receive in a login event and a striker with good skills, honestly a decent hero who can be good for raids, but he's also overshadowed by so many other earth elements heroes who can do a better job, example Lapless, Lucilica, ITC. Anyway, he's highly recommended for a Nestra lineup. Let's check his steps, the best steps to focus on are attack, critical hit rate, and critical damage. About his skills, all of his skills are really good. Even his second skill can deal with the enemy and do a lot of damage at the same time. Let's check his basic attack, heal skin 2. The second skill, Raven Rush, has a chance to reduce the action goes by 50% and his ultimate gain an extra turn if the enemy dies, which is this is, is good. Both passive skills are for incrementing damage. And about his set, use six pieces of the first set, four pieces with percent of attack because we want a lot of attack on him. I make sure to have critical hit rate and critical damage as sub attributes. Ring and necklace use critical hit rate and critical hit damage, or you can try to use 
critical damage on both optional set strength set and precision set in pvp it's rare to see an army call on the colosseum of course very few people dare to discover his potential but it is possible that he can make a difference with good combo signs his ultimate can be used two times if managed to kill someone that's it for now i hope you enjoy this small video bill because i have bob michael i'm gonna do some fights on pvp i'm gonna try to show you some combos you're gonna see all his damage so let's go どこでしょう。戦の時間だ。
勝利をつかめ<笑>撃滅せよ勝利をつかめはっ風邪ひいても知らないよ食事の時間だ。Okay, that's it. Hit the like button. If you like the video, share please. If you have any more questions about the heroes, please write down at the bottom and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you soon. Later.